What up, players? It's Wall Boss Tay up at this bud, and I am doing a video response to my good buddy Ken Lanhart, who is celebrating 400 subscribers on his channel. Super excited for you, Ken. I'm really, really happy that you are getting so much uh, subscribers headed your way. So, if you don't know who he is, everybody, I highly recommend you check him out. He's got a great channel. He's super friendly, super nice, and really supportive of everybody in the hobby. So, he's got a uh, a little thing going on his channel where he wants us to look at the Games Workshop website and find something that we want to talk about, a unit that we like the look of, stuff like that. So I'm looking at a Bane Blade here from Vastroya because actually I am uh, reading, let's see if we could find, let's see if we could find what I'm reading right now in the, the new releases. I'm reading this fantastic book called uh, Bane Blade, appropriately enough. <clears throat> is it really that old? Here we go. And it is a fantastic book. 14 bucks, really? That's how much I, pay I paid? Anyways, it's about a Bane Blade that from the very beginning of its creation on Mars, it takes you through the final steps of it being um, armed and created and all the crazy rituals that go into the 40k um, building of machinery. It's like a religious zealotry building a machine on the uh, manufactorums of Mars where they come out and they chant and the, the tech priests burn incense and they um, put all these litanies and prayers and sing hymns and stuff. It's, it's like religious to them because they think it's a living being. The, they put a machine spirit inside each of their machines and they they worship and revere it and so the they create this bane blade called the mars triumphant and then the whole book is really expertly told i think there are some parts i'm reading it right now i'm kind of in the middle of it there's some parts where it kind of drags and you kind of wish that there would be more bane bladey stuff but it's a real character driven piece where you get to meet and um understand some of the characters that are in it so the main character is uh really this uh guy that starts off as a tank commander of a Lehman Russ and then in the opening battle he loses his tank he has to uh, get reassigned to the Mars Triumphant as a third gunner and so the um, Bane Blade has 10 crewmen which I didn't know that you got the commander the driver gunners loaders uh, a commsman and the uh, you get an engineer <clears throat> to uh, sometimes who kind of looks over your your vehicle and so it just like it takes you through this this writer guy haley takes you through the inside of a bane blade how big it is where you enter from the the amount of space in each compartment um how the guns work the crazy mars technology that is at the fingertips of the commander to uh be able to to see and feed into all these other uh, all the other access ports and everything it really really makes you want to buy a Bane Blade if you haven't had one yet. So when uh, so I'm kind of reading this right now, and when Ken Lanhart his, uh, put his video up about, uh, you know, find a unit that you want to talk about, I immediately went to this one. Also, hello, guess what's coming out soon? Boom, Apocalypse Formations. I saw this and I was like, what? What kind of craziness is it? Look at this. I was looking at all the different Apocalypse Formations. You can buy a whole Space Marine chapter for like 600 something bucks. That's crazy. Anyways, Games Workshop really uh, banking in on the new Apocalypse. Oh my gosh, what? 10 tanks? Man, there goes your whole like paycheck. Anyways, I was looking at this one, Bane Blade, and um, I thought it was pretty cool. And then there are little examples of Vastroyan paint schemes like here and here the the um, variant so let's take a look at this one ah oh, looks so cool the Vostroyan color scheme which is this kind of like dull wait is this Vostroyan or Armageddon Steel Legion I can't tell they both have this kind of like drab almost kind of grayish greenish kind of kind of paint but I love it because it's kind of realistic it's um, gritty and dark and dirty and you only have things like the headlights to kind of pop the color out or these uh, command stripes down the side of it. Um, really cool, you get this shrine in the back of it where 
they put up like little prayers on purity seals and pray to the machine spirit inside. And here's the, the cog head of the Adeptus Mechanicus on Mars. So it's it's cool to see how they treat the Bane Blade like it's a living, breathing creature. And even in the book, uh, there's this one part where the their main enemy are these orcs. And these orcs use tactics because they're blood axe orcs. So they ambush and they create um, and they sabotage vehicles and they use... Uh, you know all these dirty tricks and stuff and so this one tank gets you know wrecked pretty bad in this ambush and the commander <laughs> the commander is like really angry and he's he's like talking to the commander of the Mars Triumphant and he's like look at my look at my poor machine she's been disgraced and dishonored and look look at how badly they've injured her like talking about her like she's a l like the tank is an actual creature that has been laid low by the the machinations of the orcs so I mean I love that I love I, I love the book I think it's made a couple mistakes in the narrative um, <clears throat> because of I, I guess just because of the the way that it's run uh, that it was written but uh, overall Bane Blade the, the book if you're into tanks if you're into Bane Blades if you're into the Imperial Guard it's a uh, definitely cool book and it's told in a cool narrative style too like um, kind of if, if you've seen the movie Memento where it kind of goes backwards as as it goes there's kind of like two parallel storylines about the main character as well as the different um adventures that got him to be where he was at the beginning of the book as well as the um storyline about them trying to survive on this planet against the orcs uh, i'm gonna be um doing more videos about super heavy tanks because there is actually after the july painting challenge i'm going to be doing another little challenge throughout uh, August uh, painting up a an, a uh, super heavy tank so stay tuned for that but yeah this is just a video for my good buddy Ken because uh, I, I love his videos I've been watching them ever since I can remember since last year when I started getting really into posting and uploading more and um, congratulations on the 400 buddy and I hope you get hundreds and hundreds and thousands more subscribers and uh, hope everything is well with you and uh, wish you all the best of luck. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Stop recording.